my leg workouts are the ones that I have to get myself like mentally hyped up for because girl, it's more than a notion. And I don't want to end this workout in full Chia Pet mode. So here's the look. Super cute. These are great for like step ups, for elevated lunges. My thigh master. Do you guys remember the Suzanne Summers Thigh Master? Versatile multi-purpose tool. It's great for ab work. It's great for lower body work. This again is a very multifunctional tool and it requires you to apply a bit of balance when utilizing it. So it does a great job of working those little stabilizing muscles as well. Sunday morning. Sorry. Let's see. It is a Sunday, September 15th. I can't believe it's September. Just <sighs> I'm telling you, the older you get, the faster time goes. <laughs> I just wanted to slow it down. Oh, but it's why it's so important to just really make the most of every moment because time is truly fleeting. Anywho, before I go down that depressing road, <laughs> good morning. Let's start over. <laughs> and I'm actually having a really good morning. It's just like, I just feel like the time is flying. But anywho, um, I am headed to the gym. I haven't actually physically been in the gym in a minute. Um, and I miss the space. I miss the sound of the equipment and I miss the heavy machinery. So I'm going to go in today and get in a good workout. I'm going to kind of see how I feel when I get there. When I woke up this morning, uh, my intention was to go in and just do a really strong upper body workout. But if my energy is good, I may just do a full body workout and see how it goes. Um, I think too today when I get back, um, I do have a little bit of work that I need to get done, but I have been meaning for probably the last two weeks. I think we talked about it in one of the vlogs in one of the skincare vlogs. I got this new um, at home micro needling device uh, that I received in PR and I have been meaning to try it and I haven't done that. So I think we'll do that today um, and see what that's all about. Um, and then that way we can kind of over the course of the next few days kind of see what my skin is looking like um, post treatment. So I may do a little bit of that today. I really need to spend some time this morning kind of just like kind of doing a bit of bulk content uh, so that I'm set up for a good week uh, because I think I'm going to be heading back to Austin later this week as well. Um, so we will see. That's the plan because um, that'll get me in a good place. I also wanted to thank you guys so much for all of the love on the vlogs. I'm so excited that you all are enjoying them and I just wanted to thank you all so much for the love on the vlogs. Um, it seems that you guys are really enjoying, you know, the fitness tips and the workouts and the meal prep. Um, I probably, I think that probably every week I'll just, I won't necessarily do the full meal prep with you all because that takes a lot of time. <laughs> um, and I tend to eat the same things often. That's just a general practice that I've picked up. A lot of the things that I eat are superfoods and like I said I tend to make Buddha bowls so I don't necessarily like meal prep like I make this meal or that meal. I make lots of different things that 
I can mix and match and then I add like different sauces and condiments to them to kind of create you know lots of meal variations um, I think that is a simpler way to go about it um, and like I said, there are just certain things that I eat on a consistent basis um, because I know, you know, what the servings are, what my calorie count is for that. But I generally eat high volume, nutrient dense food. I try to eat a rainbow of colors, high in nutritional content so that my body is feeling satiated like it's getting all of the nutrients that it requires and that kind of alleviates the process of me having to like count macros and all of that I don't like to do all of that it's more work than what I want to do um, because I want meals to still be enjoyable for me I'm not competing or anything I don't feel like I need to be so conscious of you know my macros um, but especially as long as I focus on having a variety of foods with a variety of colors Colors, making sure that I am meeting you know my protein carb and fat requirements that's probably the extent of macro counting that I do um, but when I eat the same foods on a consistent basis I know what a serving looks like so I don't have to be as conscious about going through and weighing my food every time because I do typically when I introduce new things I do weigh them often until I get you know a good read on what a true serving is. I do generally eat about two pounds of vegetables, two pounds of fresh raw vegetables over the course of the day. That's why I like to make Buddha bowls because then it just makes it easy for me to just kind of throw everything into a bowl and you know different and unique combinations every day. But I focus on foods that have high nutritional content but are low in calories and that really allows me to eat large volumes of food at a time and that way like I said I don't really have to concentrate so much on you know counting calories and counting macros and that sort of thing so so that's kind of just like a little bit of background on how I eat but I said all of that to say so off topic like I just go all over the place that I will probably try to just like focus on introducing like one new recipe during each vlog and then that way I can be um, a little bit more detailed about you know the contents and measurements I'm gonna try to be better better about measurements for those of you who have watched my vlogs early on and um, where I have done meal prep I've talked about the fact that I don't really like I don't measure things out I kind of eat based on taste like I'm like <laughs> I, I do swoop it up so I'm like a little bit of this a little bit of that oh that leads to I need a little bit more of that I kind of make everything just based on taste um, so I'm really bad about recipes but because I'm trying to share with you guys I will try to be <laughs> I will try to provide a little bit more detailed info on that so we're just about here at the gym, so let me get my mind right, get my ducks in a row, and I will see you guys in the gym. Okay, bye!
Okay, so I'm back from my workout, had some lunch and did all the things. And so now I want to get into trying out this new micro needling device that was sent to me by the company Banish. They actually sent me an entire skincare line. So I'll go over all the products that they sent to me and then we'll get into the micro needling device and the procedure. Gotta put my readers on so <laughs> I can see this fine writing. I do have my contacts in today and my contacts are for distance. So in order for me to see these products, I need my readers. First of all, so everything, all of these little components in the skincare kit came very securely wrapped. And I love the fact that they use recyclable and compostable materials in order to keep things safe and intact during transit. It says, face the world with confidence. And you see the little Banish logo on here. I went ahead and took this off of everything else, but I did want to show you guys how they ship the products to you. Banish Pore Shrinker. This is their toner. It contains rosemary water and watermelon fruit. Then we have the Banish Vitamin C Cream Brightening Daily Moisturizer. It has alpha arbutin, licorice, and vitamin C. And all of their products are natural, vegan, and cruelty-free. Then we've got the Instant Lift Brightening Eye Cream. It contains peptides, vitamin C, and squalane. It says that it's good for lifting and depuffing, hydrating, and collagen enhancing, and brightening. Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. This is an AHA exfoliating mask. Helps to lighten dark spots. An instant glow in 10 minutes. It does contain glycolic acid, vitamin C, and nutmeg. I'm really excited excited to try this. And we've also got the Banish Fighter Gel. This helps to calm breakouts and eczema. The Banish Serum, which is a dark spot corrector with vitamin C and E. So those are all of the products that they sent me. It came in this cute little mesh bag that says confident in my skin. So this will be a great little container for like traveling or just storing all of your products. And then super cute, it came with this adorable like little pair of socks. It says banish around the ankles. And then on the front of the sock, it's got the little banish logo. On the back, with the pair of socks, it says, step into the world with confidence. The Banish 3.0 device for blemishes, acne scars, fine lines, dark spots, stretch marks, promotes hair growth and collagen. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Very nice packaging. Pull it open this way. Again, inside it says, I can, I will, I got this, I can do this. I'm brave, I'm a warrior, I'm confident in my skin. Love all of the positive nods. Definitely some words to live by. Here is the device. Here is the wand. This is what you use to control the device. Two micro needling stampers are included in the packaging. Where to use the banisher. You can use it on your scalp because as I mentioned, it is good for stimulating hair growth. Um, it can be used on the forehead, your 11 lines, crow's feet, cheeks, nasolabial folds, neck and chest and decollete. It gives you a breakdown of like the areas that you can use it and how many times it can be used in each of these areas before you need to replace the micro needling head. And it says to start with using it once every other week up to once a week. Always start with thoroughly cleansed skin and hands. I just Got out of the shower, washed my face. Just coming off of a tretinoin week. So you can see my face is quite dry and patchy in areas, which basically is, means the tretinoin is doing what it's supposed to do, sloughing off all of that dead skin. So this I felt like would be a really good time for me to go in and try this micro needling because we wanna encourage new cell production, kind of get that turnover going, 
produce more collagen. So I'm really excited to see what this is all about and how well this will work in conjunction with my regular skincare routine. Press the banisher three to five times on each area. Lift the banisher up before pressing down again. So once I finish utilizing this, I will go in either with the Banish Serum or with the Vitamin C Cream. So let's go in and clean one of the heads. So you can see it's got like this little groove in the back. And again, this is the stamper. So you just place that into the groove, twist, <laughs> and then pull that off. Okay, cool. The needles, see all the little heads there where the needles are? So I'm going to fill this with a little bit of alcohol and then put this in here to cleanse it. And then we'll come back in to try the device. Okay, there we go. Do not use over a rash, acne, wound, or infection. Do not use if allergic to metal or gold. And do not apply makeup cosmetics after use until the next morning or at least eight hours after using the banisher. We recommend using it at night or before you go to bed so you can do your usual makeup routine the next morning. Also says do not apply exfoliating acids immediately after use and obviously do not give to young children. <laughs> well, kids, let's jump in. Ooh, wait a minute, that kind of hurt. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, I can feel these needles. I don't quite know what I was expecting, but I don't think I was expecting, okay, you know what? Okay, it's not bad. It doesn't hurt, but it is not comfortable. So it says to just press into the skin and then lift. So you definitely don't want to drag because you'll tear your face apart. <laughs> a bit of redness so I'm sure that is where we're seeing those very fine puncture marks and the whole principle behind micro needling is you cause a bit of damage which then encourages the skin to repair itself thus the collagen building reproduction of cell of new cells cell turnover cell regeneration you know all the things here's what we're looking like I'm gonna go ahead and put some more alcohol in here to clean the device. And then I think I wanna go in, I don't know, do we wanna go in with the Banish Serum, just a dark spot corrector, or with Brightening Daily Moisturizer. Okay, so maybe I'll go with the serum because I do have a couple of dark spots here that I need to work on. It has vitamin C and E, so I think that'll be a good idea. So let's go in with the serum, so. I can definitely feel it going into the skin as we have created a little puncture wounds throughout. So it's a slight tingling, burning sensation. So again, it doesn't hurt, but a little bit of discomfort. And it didn't take much, I just did one dropper and definitely a little goes a long way because I still feel like I have quite a bit on my hands. So we'll see what the face is looking like in the morning. I think later tonight, I will go in with the vitamin C moisturizing cream. Well, you know what, I'm curious now. So let's just see like what it's giving. The cream. Oh, it's nice and light. It's very rich, but it doesn't feel heavy. Very hydrating. I definitely love the feel of that. 
And for the most part, everything just has just a very, very subtle fragrance. Like, so it doesn't necessarily smell like anything. So you can tell that they didn't add fragrance into the products, which I can definitely appreciate. This is the one that I just applied the moisturizer to. Oh yeah, I can definitely see a big difference. This hand looks dry <laughs> and it feels dry. And this feels really good. Um, and I can, t it absorbs fairly quickly. Uh, but you can definitely feel the moisture and the hydration um, and you can see the glow. So that I'm liking. You know what? My lips are super dry. <laughs> um, I'm going in with my Marie lip treatment. This has collagen and vitamins A and E, hyaluronic acid. It's an overnight lip care, deep hydration and repair. Um, actually, I have a couple of different lip creams. You know what, one day I'm gonna just kind of do, I need to see, like, do like a comparison because I have this one, which I really like, Heels Butter Mask Lips. I love this one. And I have Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask, which is also meant to be an overnight lip mask. I use all of them throughout the day. And then of course you guys know I have my Kiehl's lip balm, which I think I left in my gym bag this morning. So I need to get that out because I'll be looking for it shortly and I'll be scrambling and going crazy trying to find it. Uh, but this one I really like. Actually, I love all three of them. I generally just grab like whichever one is the closest to me at the time. They all have quite a few similarities. Um, but basically like this one I like because it goes on, it has a very like, it's like a mix between like a cream and a lip gloss, moisturizing and hydrating, but as you can see, not sticky or tacky at all. So love, love, love. And this one is actually available on Amazon. I'll drop a link for it in the description box below because I really, really like this one. But they're all meant to hydrate, repair, and you know, encourage smooth, silky, moisturized, plump, and kissable lips. So now I'm gonna go get a little bit of admin work done. I need to prepare for my day tomorrow. Um, I need to, A, I need to shoot quite a bit of content so I can have content ready to go for the week. And tomorrow is, Mondays are generally my admin day. So tomorrow I wanna work on updating my website, which I just need to do a much better job of staying on top of that. I just have so many moving parts and your girl is a one-man show and a wife. If you're a wife, you already know. You just know. Girl, it's a lot. But I do have a fur baby. And my fur baby and my husband are very high maintenance. Don't tell them I said so. <laughs> getting my steps in for the day. Committed to a walk after meals. Um, I just had my dinner for the day, so I'm out getting in my steps. Uh, I already walked for about 15 minutes. I'm probably gonna walk for another 30 minutes or I'll just walk until I'm tired. So let's get it in. And I'm going to keep on keeping on this health and wellness journey. Right. Mwah.
Good morning, beauties. Your girl is in slow motion this morning, but I'm trying to get it together, so I need to kick it into overdrive. Apologies, I did not check back in with you guys last night. I did go on my walk. This morning, I am getting myself together. I just finished doing like my morning skincare routine, but I also did want to share with you guys. So I tried the banish vitamin c cream the um the brightening daily moisturizer like last night i really like this a lot um it is definitely very very moisturizing very hydrating and you know i had gone in with this after treating myself with the micro needling kit um, and then I went in with the Banish Serum. So as I told you guys afterwards, I did experience like a little bit of tingling with this, but that was expected because, you know, I had punctured my skin. Um, same with this. I want to say that over the course of like the next few hours, like once I applied this, between the two of them, I did have like just a little bit of like just kind of tingling sensation, um, but nothing uncomfortable or anything like that. But I mean, my skin looks really, really good this morning. So... I'm happy with it. Um, definitely was not having any kind of adverse reactions or anything like that. I think it's just really just due to the active ingredients going in, helping to, you know, repair the skin after doing, you know, the, the damage, the damage that's done by the micro needling, which of course, you know, encourages, you know, cell regeneration and all the things. So I did try that last night and I really liked it. And I also tried, the Instant Lift, the Brightening Eye Cream. Now this was really nice. It actually kind of reminds me of the Youth to the People Moisture Whip. Very, very light, fluffy, kind of whippy cream, but definitely goes on really, really smooth, absorbs well into the eye area. It felt really nice, feels really good on the skin. Again, um, not greasy or anything like that, but very, very hydrating. And I mean, I didn't wake up with puffy eyes this morning, so that worked really well. And of course, anytime I get any like new, you know, skincare products or anything like that, um, I try to do a little bit of research on them. So I was on different sites researching uh, the whole Banish line, and I did see quite a bit where the Fighter Gel, which is to calm breakouts and eczema, so apparently this has gone viral on TikTok several times over. So it's meant to, you know, help, you know, fight acne scarring and anything like that. So, and they say what they say on the TikTok, of course I take it with a grain of salt, but I'm going to try it, um, is that this stuff really helps to kind of get rid of acne blemishes and things like that, like overnight. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of this because I do have like a little blemish right here that you can see and like a little dark spot right here. Um, and those are the results of sometimes my skin does purge um, when I go through my um, tretinoin week. You guys know I use tretinoin. I use the uh, the agency formula, which I really like them because you do like, um, you do, I do monthly check-ins with them. They'll take a look at my skin. We talk about whether or not I need to, you know, up the strength of my treatment or what have you. And it does have a lot of really good stuff in it. And the kit that I use with my tretinoin, I use the eye, gosh, I use the eye formula, can you guys see that? I don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell. It's a little bit of glare. I use the eye formula, the Cloud Care Oil Moisturizing Face Wash. Yeah, the Cloud Care Cream Oil Cleanser. Um, so this is like a cleansing wash. And then you go in with my agency formula. And the thing about this too with agency is like each of them is formulated for your particular skincare needs. So mine like gives like a breakdown of my individual formulation like here on the back. Um, and then I also use, where is it? As a part of that whole skincare routine, why is it in here? <clears throat> 
But I also use the moisturizer. Oh, here it is. It's right in my face. And I also use the Cloud Care Moisturizer. I really, really I like this Tretinoin product formulation has done wonders for my skin. <clears throat> But it does dry me out because it's, you know, it's really intense skincare, a lot of medicine in there, a lot of actives that really work to kind of, you know, pull off those dead skin layers and keep that re cell rejuvenation going. So every now and again, I do have a purge with my Tretinoin. So all that to say, coming off my Tretinoin week, I'm going to try the Banish, uh, Spider Gel, which I said before is good for calming breakouts and eczema. So I'm going to put a little bit here. And this one, it is like a jelly formula, as you can see. So see that? It's a pretty thick formulation. Um, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to put a little bit on this one. I've got a little something right there. And right here and it looks like I've got a little something right there too so I'm going to apply some of this on there and let that sit and I will we'll check back in later on this evening maybe I'll do some nighttime skincare and we'll see what's tea on the banish fighter gel but so far I'm pretty, you know, impressed with the formulations. I do want to, again, try the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. Okay, it smells delicious. So they've definitely used some real, like, pumpkin puree in there. So I'm very curious to try that out. Maybe we'll do that later tonight, and we can see what's good with that. Uh, but for now... I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I have quite a bit of shooting that I need to do today. And you know, I even though it's still hot as fish grease here, like I looked at the temperature for the week, we're gonna be in the upper 90s all week long, but I am really, I, I, I'm, I'm ready to feel the vibes. I'm ready to feel the pumpkin spice. I'm ready to feel the chai latte. Um, so I'm thinking that I may pull down a couple of my fall bins because I'm, I'm tired of looking at this. Um, I'm ready for a switch up. So I may pull that stuff out and see what is feasible for me to wear, you know, for the next few weeks that I won't die in, that at least gives me a little bit more of that fall feeling. You know, things that I can pair with my slip skirts, with my dark rinse denim, um, with my blazers, all of those top 10 items, all of my fall top 10 transition wardrobe items. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's a good one. You know, nothing groundbreaking, but just those essentials and those basics that do a really good job of helping you to kind of transition your wardrobe in between that time you know that summer and early fall where it can still be quite warm and the weather fluctuates so if you haven't checked out the video go check it out but all that to say I'm thinking I'm going to bring down a couple of my tubs and see what we can do to kind of refresh the wardrobe room so in the meantime um, I am going to go ahead and do my teeth whitening so I'm gonna put my Snow Diamond Whitening Serum on my teeth and let that sit while I do my makeup. And then I will check back with you guys in a bit.
I rise and I wake and I gotta go get it. I'm making my bed and it's straight to the digits. No cup of jokers, that shit is acidic. So I take a shot with the lemon and ginger. Look in the mirror like, yeah, I'm the nigga. Look in the mirror like, damn it, I'm fitted. Looking outside like the world is on mine. Look in the mirror like, nigga, go get it. I gotta get to the scene, oh. I gotta get to the back now. I can't be chasing on these hoes. They getting they feeling and drag down. That's why these niggas just crash out. Stuck in the cell and it's mad down. Life getting gone in the flash now. Fuck it in and I'ma stand down. I done seen these niggas crash out. They some baby boys. I'm the man now. They was questioning. Make them fans now. I'm the best in my league and that's hands down. Understand now. Got plans now. Got big dreams. Now nah, fuck that. Got big schemes since 16s. Hot six. Can't be tired already, baby. We just started. Come on. Harley. Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> so we're having a standoff. Like, we've literally only been walking for about five minutes. And he says it's too hot. <laughs> the life of a fur mom. <laughs> Harley, really? Okay, let's just go around the block. Come on, I'll drop you off. Come on, the spot in the shade, and now he's stalling. <laughs> okay, come on, mommy, I'll take you home now. Let's go. You ready to go home? Okay, let's go. Come on. We gotta go home. Why does he think he's in charge? Oh my God. doing today so I've had an eventful morning um, got up did my skincare got myself together and uh, you know, Harley and I went for our walk well we did that much earlier in the morning we had a little bit of a misunderstanding about who was walking who uh, but once we got through that came home got myself together um, this morning I just finished shooting a bit of organic content for myself I will put some of those clips here in the vlog but I think it's time that we make some lunch um, I'm gonna be heading back to Austin tomorrow so I want to get some cooking done here for the house so, you know, the hubster won't be starving while I'm away. Um, so I think we're going to jump into a bit of that right now. Um, so, and of course, you guys, I cannot cook and talk at the same time because I'll forget steps and leave things out. Um, I have to focus. So I'm going to montage it. I think we're going to do some like... I don't know. I'm in the mood for either Italian, Mediterranean, you know, tomato, tomato, to be perfectly honest. Um, so I think we're going to do a bit of that. And yeah, let's get into it. Oh, by the way, so I was supposed to check back with you guys about the Banish um, Fighter Gel. It's actually really good. So you can see here where I had that little bit of something going there and there. It's just about gone. You can probably see it a little bit better when I did my morning skincare. Um, but just wanted to give a little follow up on that. The skin has healed pretty well from the micro needling. Um, so just kind of watching it to see if we see like any visible plumping or filling or, you know, rejuvenation of sorts. So anywho, let's go make some lunch. <laughs> 